This is George from High Tech Legion. The old rule of thumb with radiators for liquid cooling is a 120 millimeter se uh, section for each component that you use. With more and more people going to cooling the CPU and GPU, a 360 millimeter radiator makes a lot of sense. With the growing popularity of liquid cooling, we're seeing a lot more cases able to take 360 millimeter uh, radiators as well. So it's becoming a very, very popular piece. Now, of course, there are times you're also gonna want an enthusiast class 360, and that's where something like the XSPC RX 360 V3 comes in. Following up on the heels of the wildly successful RX 360 V2, the V3 offers some very, very unique improvements. Right at first glance, the XSPC RX 360 V3 announces itself as an enthusiast class radiator. Uh, right off the bat, taking a look, as you can see, it's 56 millimeters thick. It's actually downsized a little from the V2, which is about 60 millimeters thick. However, uh, it offers the same, if not better, performance than the V2 with a little bit better sizing. The core itself, 46 millimeters thick, and it is a uh, brass and copper core. Now, of course, copper being the best material as far as... Um, heat dispersion, so you've got the right materials going here with the copper and the brass. You've got the fin structure, 13 FPI on the fins, so it's not going to take a ton of air to get cooling uh, going through these fins. Obviously, the higher the FPI, the more resistance, the higher um, speed fans you're going to need, and of course, the more noise. Now, with a 13 FPI, you've got uh, very low fin density, so you're going to get um, good air through there without really high speed. So you're going to be able to get great cooling with less noise. That's been a big focus of XSPC recently with their last couple of series of radiators, and it's really worked out very well. You get excellent top end performance as well as very, very good low noise performance. And really with water cooling, that's one of the big deals that you're going for is the low noise performance. And it's a huge reason to switch to water cooling. So you've got that going here. Obviously, Beautifully done, all matte black finish throughout. Uh, core itself matte black as well. Very nicely finished, so it's gonna make a very nice appearance in your case, as you can see. So, moving on, you've got four G1 quarter plugs. Obviously two, which can be used, uh, obviously, on the bottom, hanging down. You've also got two on the side. So you've got some versatility there as far as setup. Very nice looking, very easy to use. Now, you've got, obviously, Space for three 120 millimeter fans on both sides, so it can be run and push pull without a problem, or simply push or simply pull. So you've got versatility as far as setup. There's no question about that. Now, speaking of the setup, I just want to show you the box for one second. Obviously, it comes in a very, very plain box, white box with the RX360 XSPC. However, all the instructions included are on the lid of the lip of the box. Two different screws are included, and all it tells you right here on the box is which screws to use for which um, scenario. Obviously, use the 30 millimeter screws if you're putting them through a fan. If you're going to the case, you're gonna use the shorter screw um, so you're not going into the core of the radiator itself. So, obviously, very important to pay attention to that. You don't wanna damage the radiator by using too long of a screw. So, really beautiful looking design from XSPC. I really like the fact that it's the 13 FPI, so you're gonna be able to get very good low noise uh, performance out of the radiator itself. Now let's take a look at the accessories that uh, come with the RX360 V3. Very, very simple accessories included. First off, two plugs, G1 quarter, black chrome. Uh, obviously, you're only going to be using two of the fittings depending on your application, as I say, and uh, what's going to be most applicable to your setup. The other two, you'll plug very, very simply so you don't have water leaks. Now, do make sure you put them in and you remove these. I've learned the hard way that if you forget to remove these, they don't hold water for very long. Next, moving on, you've got a dozen each of a 30 millimeter screw, which as you can see, when putting a fan in, will be the correct length to go through a fan. Obviously, if you're mounting to the case, you don't want to try and do this and try and tighten them all the way down. You're going to go into the core and you will use the shorter screws. There are 12 of each included and obviously very, very easy to mount up. So we've got all the accessories we need, 
beautiful looking radiator, great specs, obviously all the right materials used, nice FPI of 13, as I say. So let's get this into a loop and see exactly what it can do. I'm gonna put it into a very simple loop with a Raystorm block, a Raystorm uh, Razor GPU block on uh, 4770K and a 290X respectively. And I'm gonna use a very simple XSPC 750 uh, version for bay res for the pump and reservoir. Looking at system specs, you see we didn't try and go uh, really crazy with this. We wanted the RX360 to really be able to do its thing. Went with a very simple loop, basically um, a Raystorm 750 kit with the RX360 V3. And we also added a GPU block. Now looking at components, we did not baby the RX360 V3. Uh, we did use a 4770K overclocked and the hottest running GPU out there, which is an R9 290X. Now taking a look at the results, as you can see, uh, in push only, temperature results are absolutely phenomenal, uh, especially looking down at the 800 and 1400 RPM. Typically in a thicker uh, radiator, something 56 millimeters thick, you're going to need to be in push pull in order to get this type of performance. But the RX 360 V3 did very, very well in push only, uh, especially like I say, at the lower speeds where it was absolutely dead silent at 800 RPM and barely audible at 1400. So you're getting incredible noise to performance ratio here. Now moving over into push pull, you can see the uh, performance really takes off. The 800 RPM numbers are absolutely phenomenal. Once again, at 800 RPM and push pull, it was absolutely dead silent. And as you can see, the cooling performance was absolutely incredible. Now you move up to 1400 RPM, it does become a little bit audible outside the case and you get even better results. Now naturally moving up to 2400 RPM, as you can see, the results do increase a little bit, but you're definitely getting diminishing returns here. You're getting a lot more noise and performance uh, added there. So 1400 RPM, definitely a sweet spot. And the RX3, uh, 360 V3 is a phenomenal performer at lower RPMs and at, in low noise settings. And overall, just really incredible performance. So I have to say, through absolutely everything, uh, we were very, very impressed with the XSPC RX360 V3. The performance on it was absolutely phenomenal, especially uh, what really caught uh, my eye was the performance at lower fan speeds. Typically with a thicker uh, radiator, you don't expect great performance at low fan speeds, but the 360 absolutely delivered. And you know, that's really what it's all about uh, when it comes to liquid cooling. You're looking for a quiet, powerful experience, and that is exactly what the 360 delivered. Now, also at higher fan speeds, I mean, obviously, it just turned in absolutely phenomenal results. No question about that. Now, one thing to keep in mind, it obviously did better in push-pull situations than it did in a push-only, even though the push-only numbers were very, very good, especially for, like I say, a 57 millimeter thick radiator. Um, but obviously in push-pull, it really picked up and almost dead silent 800 RPM in push-pull, it just turned in phenomenal numbers. And when you crank up the fans, I mean, the RX360 V3 can cool just about anything. Now, you know, one of the things you do need to keep in mind, of course, 57 millimeters thick, like we say, you're gonna, if you're doing push-pull, you're gonna be adding 50 millimeters in fan. So you're gonna make you're gonna need to make sure you have room in your case uh, for all of that bulk uh, in the case. but. Not a problem. Now I'm going to give the XSPC RX360 V3 a High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award. Couldn't find a thing wrong with it. Uh, performance was outstanding. Construction's absolutely beautiful. Finish on it, absolutely beautiful once again. All copper and brass uh, on the inside, like we say. You've got your fittings on the end and on the side as well. So you've got some versatile mounting there. Uh, all the accessories are included for everything you need for push-pull. Uh, Top mounting, you know, however you need to mount it, so you're good to go there, as well as the black chrome plugs, uh, which are going to take up the other two fittings, like we say, that you're not going to be using. So once again, the RX360 V3, a very, very worthy recipient of the High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award.